Here's Ken. Using the factor through him. So smart. Let me see. Is that the right answer? What do you get? 3x plus 2, 174. Problem number 4. Uh, x squared minus 2x minus 1. x squared minus 2x minus 1. Excellent, Ken. Now, how did you get... Okay. How did you get 3x plus 2? as one of the factors. You use the factor theorem, right? Yes, because it was negative 2 over 3, and then negative 2 over 3. We had a minus that, so the negative 2 over 3, we took away the 3, and then and then it was just plus 2. Okay, okay. How did you know that negative 2 over 3, you could plug in, use the factor theorem, I assume, and p of negative 2 over 3 equals 0, right? Is that what you did? Yes. How did you know p of negative 2 over 3 would work? Because I just checked it in. Okay. And you plugged it all in? Yeah, and then it turned into 0. That's correct. Everything you did is correct. Well, Daddy, does p of x equal to that? Yes, it is. You you got it right. You factored it perfectly. Um... But I'm curious, how did you know that it was negative 2 over 3 as opposed to 873? Because, it's, because it had to be a factor of 3. It had to be a factor of 3? Oh, no, by, by negative 2. Right, right. Negative 2 is a factor of negative 2. That's true, that's true. And why over 3? Because the, uh, whatever's in front of x is 3. The, the coefficient? Yeah, the coefficient. Right, right. Very good, Ken. Okay.